How do we factor out polynomials with common monomials? Hmm, let's talk about that today. Hi guys, I hope that you are doing alright. Today, we are going to factor polynomials with common monomial factors. Are you ready? Let's go! In today's lesson, we are going to identify the factors of a given polynomial. Factor out polynomials with common monomial factors. And show diligence in factoring polynomials. Now we will begin with a review on factors. Then learn how to factor polynomials out. And lastly, practice with diligence. Alright, we can achieve it. If division is the inverse of multiplication, then what is the inverse of special products? Answer? Factoring. Good job. Now let's talk about prime factorization. It is the process of factoring a number or numbers by getting its prime factors. There are many ways to do this, but we are going to talk about two ways to do this for this video. Number one, by using repeated division, and number two, by using factor trees. In repeated division, numbers are placed like so. Look at the division bracket being inverted. So how does it work? First, you look at your number. If your number is an even number, you can start factoring it using number 2. So, 36 divided by 2 is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. Now, we have an odd number this time. If your number is an odd number, you can try with 3 first. If you cannot divide it by 3, then you can proceed to the next odd number, which is 5, then 7, and so on. But here in our example, number 9 is divisible by 3. So we can continue by dividing 9 with 3. So 9 divided by 3 is 3. And now, we are at our last number. Now, how do we know when to stop? We are going to stop if we will get a prime number, such as 3. Now, let's focus our attention on the numbers outside. 2, 2, 3, and 3. These are all the prime numbers that are prime factors of 36. And we are going to multiply it like so. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Again, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And you will get 36. Now, what about factor trees? My technique when using the factor tree is by dividing the given number with the least prime number. So, if it is an even number, the least prime even number is 2. So 36 divided by 2 is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And now we get all our prime numbers just like the repeated division. And we are going to multiply by like so. 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Again, 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. And voila! we get the set of prime factors of 36. Again, there are two ways wherein we can get the prime factors of our numbers. Now we have the repeated division, and here we have our factor trees. All right, you got it. Now, what is a common factor? It is a number that can divide given numbers without remainders. Now, how do we get common factors of numbers? Monomials, and ultimately, polynomials.
For example, we have numbers 24 and 48. Now we can use repeated division in order to get their common factors. So, let's start. 24 and 48 divided by 2 are 12 and 24. Divided by 2 are 6 and 12. Divided by 2 are 3 and 6. Now this time, we cannot use 2 to divide 3 and 6 because 3 is not divisible by 2. So let's go to the next number, which is 3. So 3 and 6 divided by 3 are 1 and 3. Now notice that the outside numbers... are all prime numbers. So we will stop right there. And then we are going to multiply these numbers only. I repeat, these numbers only, the outer numbers that you can see on your left. All right, so two times two times two times three is 24. And that is their greatest common factor. Now, what if we have monomials? How do we get the common factor for monomials? Say, for example, we have 6x to the 5th and 4x squared. Now, focus your attention on the blue and the yellow lines. These mean that we factor our numbers and coefficients separately. So, 6 and 4, their greatest common factor is 2. And x to the 5th and x squared their greatest common factor is x squared. Now multiplying them, we get 2x squared. Okay, one more time. Factor out 6 and 4. That's 2. x to the 5th and x squared. That's x squared. Multiplying 2 and x squared, we get 2x squared, which is the greatest common monomial factor of the two monomials. Now let's try another one. Take a look at these four monomials right here. Here, we can see in this method that all prime factors are written like so. For 6x squared y, 414xy squared, 42xy, 2x squared y squared. And notice that whatever is common among the four are being encircled. And if they don't have common among the four, like 3, there's no 3 here, and here, like 7, there's no 7 here, and here, like x here, it does not have another x here, and it does not have another x here, and also y, it does not have another y here, and it does not have another y here, so that is why they are not being encircled. Now, we are going to multiply the common among the 4 which is 2 times x times y. All right. And so we get 2xy as their common monomial factor. Congratulations! All right. Now, let us apply our newfound knowledge on GCMF with polynomials. Given 14a to the 4th plus 35a squared, the GCMF is 7a squared. So what are we going to do? We are going to divide 14a to the 4th with 7a squared. The answer is 2a squared. And divide 35a squared with 7a squared. That is 5. And so, the answer for 14a to the 4th plus 35a squared is 7a squared times the quantity of 2a squared plus 5. And we are able to factor our polynomial with a common monomial factor. Again, our polynomial is 14a to the 4th plus 35a squared. We factored it out using its common monomial, which is 7a squared. And we get 7a squared times the quantity of 2a squared plus 5. One more time. 14a to the 4th plus 
a squared, the GCMF is 7a squared, and our factored form is 7a squared times the quantity of 2a squared plus 5. Now let us try more monomials. Kawabanga! Factor 2x minus 4y plus 2. What is their common factor? You are right. It's only 2. So we are going to divide. 2x divided by 2 is x. Negative 4y divided by 2 is negative 2y. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And there you go. Now, the second one. 5x cubed y plus 10x squared y squared plus 5x y squared. And their common monomial factor? That's correct. It's 5xy. And so, 5x cubed y divided by 5xy is x squared. 10x squared y squared divided by 5xy is 2xy. 5xy squared divided by 5xy is y. You got it right. Now, let's have this example. Take a look at the polynomial right here. Mm -hmm. So, let's identify the terms of the polynomial. And then, let us factor out the terms of each polynomial. Now, what have you noticed on the terms of each polynomial? That is right. They don't have a common monomial factor. And so, we cannot factor that out using common monomial factors. What could work? Well, that's another opportunity for another video. Great! You got it! Okay. This time, let's practice. It's your time to shine. Now, you can pause the video so that you will be able to answer the given numbers on the screen. What an amazing job! You got it! Now, let's try this one. The lengths of the parallel sides of a trapezoid are represented by A and B, and its height by H. The area of the trapezoid can be written as 1 half AH plus 1 half BH. Express this area as the product of two factors. Again, you can pause the video to answer. And that's it. The factored form is 1 half H times the quantity of A plus B. Now let us have a recap. We reviewed factoring and the two commonly used prime factorization methods. Then we learned how to factor out numbers, monomials, and polynomials with common monomial factors. And lastly, we practiced solving some numbers. Great job, everyone! Thanks for watching!